right, let's talk about Downs and his family for a little bit. Downs Warren, a family name can carry forward through many generations, which is where Downs Warren got his birth name. Downs was named after his paternal grandmother's maiden name. The Downs family established themselves in the Ingleside area in the 1800s, so their family has been here a very, very long time. The Warren side of the family was established in Felton, Delaware in the 1600s. Downs fondly remembers his childhood and his parents being very giving. His father would say, children should be children and you'll have plenty of time to work in your life. Is that true, Downs? Yep. <laughs> Mr. Warren would not allow Downs to ride on the tractors when he was little. He told his son, you'll have plenty of time to spend on those tractors, but not now. In 1980, Downs began farming in Ingleside, in the Queen Anne's County area, or in, the Queen, in Queen Anne's County. He moved to his home farm in 1984 where he built his home. Downs and his father decided to start changing farming practices by installing their first irrigation pivots. Till less and irrigate more, his father's motto was. Farming is a challenge, the weather, crop prices and marketing can all be in your favor most of the time and a lot of times not in your favor, stated Downs. My mother and father taught me many things. One of those is the love of reading books. My mother and father encouraged me to read and learn what I read in those books. His father was so proud that Downs had an interest in the land and wanted to farm. He taught Downs to surround himself with good people. And don't worry about what people think of you. You know the truth. He keeps himself busy with keeping 14 irrigation pivots running. Downs is a very humble person and was adamant about giving credit to his friends and neighbors who help him become successful. The next door neighbors like the Higgs family, local friends Rod Cawley, Mike Bostick, and business owner of Boyle Brothers, Gene Boyle, have all had positive impacts on the success of his farm. He believes in patronizing local businesses and keeping it humble. Downs is very proud of his children, Downs III and Emily. Emily is in her first year of college at Delaware Valley and is majoring in agriculture. He hopes that Emily will keep the love of the farm and be at love of the farm and maybe someday come back to the farm, but be successful in whatever she chooses. He is a quiet man, but also a proud man of what his family has been able to accomplish. He mentions that he sees some up and young, up some up-and-coming young farmers that he hopes will carry on the tradition of honest, hard-working stewards of the land. Downs, congratulations. I would like to introduce a very special guest tonight. I would like to introduce Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford. Thank you. I'm going to be very brief, but I bring greetings on behalf of Governor Hogan and our entire administration. Uh, very happy to be here in Queen Anne's County at the fair. Uh, thank you for what you do. Uh, thank you for your family and farming, and we really appreciate it. Farming, of course, is extremely important. Agriculture is our number one industry, despite some of the things that folks will often say, but when you include from the growers, the producers, the service providers, it's agriculture, which is our number one industry. And you are the preservers of the land, the original environmentalists. And you know what the soil is, what it can provide and what it does, and you monitor the weather. And so we, we in the administration, the governor and I and our entire administration, I have the Secretary of Agriculture, Barton Felder, here with me that we very much appreciate what you do and what you do every day. And thank you again, and I want to thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. I'm doing well. Good to see you. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce Dennis, uh, Denise Lovelace. <laughs> sorry. Oh, my gosh. I've known this. I'm love lady. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm nervous. I can't help it. I know I'm never nervous. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm glad to be here to stand in for Congressman Andy Harris tonight. And I'm here to give a certificate of special congressional recognition 
to the Downs, Warren Jr. and family for being the Queen Anne's County Farm Family of the Year, and congratulations on the long history of your family in the county. And Congressman. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> they were teasing you. Yeah, I know. Next, I would like to introduce Delegate Jay Jacobs. Uh, first of all, congratulations to you and your family, and uh, we look forward every year to being come down and recognize a, a Farmer of the Year for uh, Queen Anne's County, and certainly tonight I'm standing in for Senator Hershey, who couldn't be here, so I'm, I have his citation uh, from Maryland General Assembly, official citation. Be hereby known to all the sincerest congratulations are offered to the downs Warren family in recognition of the re and receiving the Queen Anne's County 2016 Farm Family Award presented on this 10th day of August 2016 by Senator Steve Hershey. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you, Jay. Next, I would like to de uh, introduce Delegate Steve Ernst. Hey, how are you? How are you doing, man? Good, how's John? Everybody's good. We miss you a little bit. Everybody. Yeah, so, yeah. Ah. That's fine. I'm actually standing in for Jay Jacobs, Jeff Grice, and myself. So on behalf of myself, again, congratulations. Um, we get to do this every year, and it's been an honor and a privilege. And um, what I have is a, a citation from the Maryland General Assembly. It says, uh, official citation, be it hereby known to all that sincere congratulations are offered to the family of Downs Warren in recognition of their dedication to agriculture in Queen Anne's County. Presented this 10th day of August, 2016, on behalf of the Queen Anne's County House Delegation, uh, Delegate Steve Aaron's Chair, Delegate Jefferson Grice, and Dele Delegate Jay Jacobs. And again, congratulations on the farm. I mean, it is our mainstay, it is our livelihood, and it's great to meet you. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll see you, buddy. See you. Thank you. Thank you. They, they won't let me introduce anybody, so hold on. Joe, would you like to go next? Would you like to go next? Next, I would like to introduce the Secretary of Agri Agriculture, Joe Bartenfelder. Congratulations to the Downs Warren family, but congratulations to everybody in Queen Anne's County that does such a great job in, in their agriculture profession and representing agriculture here in the state of Maryland. When Governor Hogan took office, he made agriculture and farming one of the really cornerstones of his administration. And it was really reflective in who he picked for Lieutenant Governor and Boyd Rutherford because he was a United U.S. Department of Agriculture guy previous to that. So with that, congratulations and many more years of great farming ahead. Thank you, Jeff. Next, I would like to introduce Mr. Jim Moran, your local county commissioner, and he's representing the Board of Commissioners for Queen Anne's County. Good evening. Uh, this, is, this is probably the best part of our job, as you know, some of the things that we get to do. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy coming up here to the fair every year uh, to give out these recognitions. And this year is especially an honor because I understand it's 400 years of your families farming in, the, in Queen Anne's County. 400 years. I mean, that's... That, that to me is amazing, and, and, and that's why it's, it's our largest business, and give them a round of applause. That's, thank you, thank you. I have two things here I, I'd like to, to uh, read. The first one is a certificate of excellence presented to the Downs Warren family in recognition of, as a 2016 noteworthy farm family for their service to agriculture and the community, and that's 400 years worth. The next one is a proclamation, Proclamation 1659. Whereas Queen Anne's County has a long heritage and tradition of farming industries which sustain the economy and lend unique character to our community. And whereas generations of county citizens have dedicated their lives and made their livelihood from harvesting grains and produce from the soils of Queen Anne's County and raising livestock on lands of the county. And whereas the legacy of the farmer is an integral part of the history and lore of our county, and whereas certain individuals and families have spent many years of their lives continuing this legacy, 
and whereas it is important to recognize the significant role of these noteworthy farmers and to preserve and perpetuate the great tradition of their work. Now, therefore, we, the County Commissioners of Queen Anne's County, do hereby proclaim the month of August 2016 as the month of the farmer in Queen Anne's County. Signed, the County Commissioners. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I asked Downs if he wanted to say anything, and he said, thank you very much. <laughs> we, again, would like to say thank you, and congratulations, Downs. You're very deserving of this award. We, as a county, are very proud of our farmers and what they do for the community and outside of this county. Um, we would like to give a big round of applause to every farmer and anybody that works on a farm or associated with a farm, business-wise or otherwise. Congratulations again, Downs, and we appreciate you very much.